Hey, Bruce. Hi, Wade. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Well, it's that time again. Review our safety numbers for everyone, so uh, we know where we stand and right. what we're doing. So good. Thank you. Let me do that with you real quickly. September, we had one employee injury. That was on uh, 9/11. We had uh, a very minor dog bite. We're very fortunate. Uh, somebody doing a disconnect for non-pay. Uh, one of our foes, and which was a pit bull. So, uh, but we had gloves on, so it was very minor indeed. Uh, we had no vehicle accidents in September. Well, it, isn't that great? That is great. And through the time that we're shooting this right now, through October 12th, both on employee injuries and vehicle accidents, we're still in good shape. 11 uh, employee injuries, 11 uh, vehicle accidents at this point. So, Three. so we didn't quite meet our stretch target for employee incidents. We were That's hoping correct. to have no more than nine this That's year. That's correct. Uh, but at eleven, if we hold that, we'll still be much better than where we were last year. Yes, and <clears throat> our uh, frequency rate on vehicles is is right at the it's at the best in the company right now. So we've got to continue with that focus there. So That's across all of AEP. That is correct. Right. That is correct. So we're doing very well. Um, Switching errors through September, we had had uh, 18. Unfortunately, I have to uh, report that here in the month of October through this uh, October 12th date, we've had two more. Uh, we've had one in the San Angelo District and one he here in, uh, in the Corpus Christi District. So we're at 20. Our challenge was 20. We're right there. And uh, uh, we need to really focus on the switching errors. We don't want this to get out of hand. So two real quickly here. Uh, where we had held um, for 66 days up uh, up through the end of September without a switching error. So all of a sudden we've had a kind of a rash of that. We've got to really refocus there. And we do because we certainly don't want energy control errors that put our people in harm's way because right. those can lead to extremely severe mm -hmm. injuries. Yes, or and, worse. And our goal yes, is to eliminate serious injuries. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we have to be vigilant on that front. Yeah, you bet. And and I will say, I think it is important to mention in that regard that our severity rate is very good um, on our employee injuries thus far. And so that's uh, zero harm is alive and well. So yeah. that is good. I also want to mention the fact that I think everybody probably knows, they, they know we're out uh, distributing cam camo bags right now uh, for high-risk employees that personally uh, have gone zero, 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 zero right. injuries. Uh, zero accidents, uh, zero switching errors uh, through September. We also put our low-risk folks in pools that had the same kind of achievement, zero, 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 in right. a pool, uh, to draw for football tickets for Texas University, Texas A&M, uh, a little Visa gift card to go with that to defray travel expenses. That drawing has occurred. Andy's going to be putting out a note in that regard. So uh, Very good. Anyway, so we're excited about that. It is football season. It is indeed. And we got a big game coming up this we, week. We do. We do. Boy, we, I think we need to talk about that a little bit more, don't you? Well, I'm going. I, so, I'll be there, too. I have a key role in that. Well, I'll see you there. Good. Welcome to the first annual Big 12 Conference. Little, little 12. Little 12 Conference game between the University of Texas Longhorns and the Baylor Bears. With me today, I have both Bradley Lentz and Charles Brower to talk a little bit about the strategy. Bradley. Texas ranks nine out of 10, 10 teams in the Little 12 Conference in defense. Their defense is so porous that I don't think they can tackle a crash card down here. I agree with the assessment of the Texas defense. They can't stop anybody. Baylor proved last week they can't stop anybody, but Baylor can put a lot of points on the board. Predictions, Bradley. I think if Baylor doesn't have to kick field goals, they win. They can score touchdowns. Baylor going away. Whoa, sick them, Bears. Whoa, back to the booth. Thanks, guys. Wade, quite a game tonight. We've got the Baylor Bears, Texas Longhorns. This rivalry dates back years to the Southwest Conference. There is no love lost between these two teams. Yeah, and what a great way to open up the season. The key to the game tonight is going to be the team that can move the ball north-south. You know, last year the problem was all over the place, out of bounds a lot, a lot of short runs. Got to move north-south. The other key, kicking game. We saw before Baylor has trouble kicking, and I'll tell you that Texas kicker last night in practice, 73 yards. 
73-yard field goal. A record kick here at Migley Field. Unfortunately, it was in practice. We'll see what they can do when game time rolls around. Now we'd like to kick it out to our field reporter, Judith Talavera. She's out in the parking lot talking to some pre-game revelers. All right, we're here tonight at the Big 12 conference game. Oh, excuse me, the Little 12 conference game. And came to see some tailgaters. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, we're doing great. Been here since 8 o'clock in the morning. Say, what's, uh, what's cooking under the grill there? Uh, wild hog uh, back straps. We butterflied those and we wrapped them in green and cream trees and we're going to put those on the pits also. And if you get through all that and you're really hungry, when we're finished there, we're going to call it, cook a whole bunch of ribeye steak. So when will all this be ready? In about uh, two hours. Because I think I'll be coming back here tonight to enjoy some good food. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Go Horns. Welcome home. Thanks, Judith. Back here in the booth, uh, we've got a special guest for the game tonight. Uh, in fact, a very special guest. This is going to be the head man on the officiating crew. He's back from the bigs, and he's here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Referee Ron. Yes, sir. Ron, you're back from the bigs. What was it like when you were in the big league? I had a great time up there. It was a great time up there in the big leagues. Yeah, so what's the difference uh, from your perspective? Is it speed, the size of the players, the, the way the game moves, uh, the rules? For me, it's all about the same. You know, I just call them, calls them like I see them up there. And you see them pretty clear. Uh, calls them, yeah, <laughs> calls them like I see them. Okay, ref, thanks a lot. You need to get out there. I think they're calling you right okay. now. That, that, that. Oh, this way. Right. Wait, it ought to be an interesting game tonight. Two good teams, and uh, the refs may be a little questionable. And I think we're going to take it down to Judith on the field with uh, one of the players. Absolutely. Let's hear it. Judith. Thanks, guys. I'm down here on the field with one of tonight's football players from the Little 12 Big Clash game. Um, excuse me, but do you think I could pick you up so I can ask you some questions about tonight's game? Yes, but be gentle. So, um, who's your inspiration? Uh, who'd you look up to growing up? Pretty much everybody. Interesting. Did you play any sports growing up? Bet you were really good at uh, Pee Wee football or Little League? Little League, miniature golf, and ping pong. So you're facing some pretty big opponents tonight. Do you think you'll be able to outrun them? And I'm going to use my special play to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, and then straight ahead. Great. Well, thanks for your time. Back to you oh, guys. No! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. There you go. Thanks, Judith. Well, Wade, we're about ready to kick. We're waiting on the whistle from the ref, and we'll be off and running. Yeah, and I can't wait to see how far this guy's going to kick it after watching the last time. It's going to be back on the 25. I mean. <laughs> there it is. There's the whistle. And the kick. Oh! Holy oh. cow! He kicked it out of Migley <laughs> Field. And they're off again. I think. That's the whistle. Oh. Knocked down. <laughs> and there's a flag. Oh. On the play. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag. No, no. Offsides. Offsides. <laughs> Oh, oh, a challenge. A challenge a flag has been that. thrown. He's thrown a challenge, but I don't think he can challenge an offside. So I don't quite know why they're lining up going the same well, way. Well, they're trying to get set up, but right now it's time to pause for a word from our sponsor. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, call 811 before you dig. This safety message brought to you by AEP Texas. And I approve of this message. Okay, there's a snap from center. 33 has got the ball. Man, Wade, this looks like a busted play. They're running every which way but loose. 33 is still trying to find his way. He spins and is knocked down at the 40-yard line. It looked like there were guys that were totally out of position on that play. That was busted. Well, look, you got Longhorns down here in their own end zone. It was absolutely a busted play. That would have been the perfect time to call a timeout, refocus, huddle up, everybody make sure they're on the same page, and then restart the job. Y'all didn't think I'd get that in there this week, did you? Okay, welcome back, folks. Uh, before we get into this uh, third quarter, looks like they're setting up their offense right now. We'd like to thank AEP Texas for the aerial coverage of this game with their AEP Texas blimp. It was uh, quite a show, quite a video from uh, way upstairs. Wade, a couple of minutes left in the game. This has been a hard-fought game. We've got the Baylor Bears up 14-7, to but uh, right now the Texas Longhorns are on a 30-yard line, and they are threatening. Well, I tell you what, it hasn't been the offensive uh, powerhouse as we thought it was going to be, but what a great game. And, uh... Look forward to the last two minutes. This is the last play of the game. There's the whistle. There's the snap. He's running hard. He's got oh, some blockers. Oh, he's got, got some blockers. He's got some blockers. He's got some blockers. He's got some blockers.
Two points. Two points. After this to the goal. Here's the play. The last play of the game for the win. They're all go, 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 baby. Go. I got a block for a ride. Go. 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 What a great opening night. I, I love the little 12 action. This is a, a great game. I look forward to seeing everybody. We'll see you again next week. Absolutely. Next week it'll be the Texas Longhorns playing Oklahoma, and Baylor will be playing an awesome team from Texas Tech. Good night from Miglet Field.